people's update. Flash update. Oh, my camera is a little wonky here. So let's get things uh, straightened out. It's the sweat stain. It's the sweat stain, K1GMM. Steve Vermont been outside working. And I figured I'd uh, throw this at you guys. I have scrapped that other program. Spectral is me or a scene, however the frick you say that stupid word. Um, just got wonky, stopped working on me. So what I'm using now, and I actually like this a lot better because you can run multiple instances of it. It's, it's really cool. Uh, what you're looking at right now, this is my audio on the right-hand side of that pan adapter that you see at the bottom right. That is the audio being piped to the transceiver um, on the big gun, this one. Um, and you can run multiple ins instances of this, right? So on the left side, I have the audio from the SDR console. And it's neat to compare. I've been I've been doing some research and paying attention to a lot of these big stations uh, th with their DX audio, and I'm analyzing it using this. And um, my headset I hit re EQ'd using that um, spectrum analyzer. Uh, very sharp, whole lot of mid range, and that's what you need for busting pileups and. Um, you know, heavy, heavy uh, DX work, stuff like that, uh, especially contest uh, pileups. You want that really sharp audio in like the 600 to 2 kilohertz range. That's the stuff that cuts through like a screaming chainsaw through a stick of melted butter, man. Works really good. And this will help you do that. It's called Fritcher. Uh, I'll post a link to this, and it's free. Unlike the other one, it says donation. It's not a donation. Um, it's a trick. So I wanted to just update that. That spectral is me, a seam, cack. Plus, it's unstable. Uh, it just didn't want to work. Uh, the next day, I booted it up, and it was a pile of crap. So this one's been working for the past two, two or three days. So let me show you exactly how to make this work. I'll post a link to this uh, in the video description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close these for you. Okay. So I'm going to relaunch them. Stand by for a second. to the desktop. Okay, I'm going to relaunch them so you can launch multiple instances. So I'll show you exactly how to do this. There is a sequence in how to do it to get it to work. So uh, I'll launch the first one. Okay, so what you want to do, it's going to load running. I have mine already set up, but you go to settings basically and you choose where you want to grab the audio from. Okay, uh, this is basically where you want it to get all the audio from. So I have mine SDR console. Um, I set mine to stereo mix. Make sure stereo mix is, is visible. Uh, whatever playback device you see in there, if it's active in your sound card, it'll work. Um, but you got to make sure that SDR console is sending that information to that particular device in the sound card. Okay, that being said. So I have, a, I have it set to single channel. I select stereo mix. And you're done with that. Okay, don't start it. Don't start it yet. Um, go back to the icon on your desktop, Fritcher. Click it again. This is going to open another instance. Okay, it's going to put it right on top of the other one. All right, so what I do is I dock it over here. You can do it however you want. Um, 
Okay, so I would go ahead and stop this. Um, make sure they're both stopped before you start them. Check your sound card settings again. Um, this is this is the feed from the rack gear to the computer. It comes in at the line in. I have it in the blue input. Um, so I have that set. So set it wherever you're going to grab audio from your rack or your external microphone or whatever. Uh, whatever whatever is going to your rig. Now this can be used as well if you have your rig connected to the PC and you can just st uh, stick it in just a lot of rigs. I mean, all rigs are different how that would work on the 7300. You can engage the monitor, you can key it and that audio will play through your computer. Um, so that's one way to do it. And it will show up on that spectrum. You just, you would have to select uh, let's see, my uh, ICOM 7300 is microphone 3 USB audio codec. Codec. Yours will probably be something different, microphone 1, 2, 2 USB audio codec, but on the 7300, that's that's what it'll, it'll show up as. And if you're going to do it that way, don't forget to enable the monitor function, set your level in the menu, and every time you key the rig, your audio will show up there. Uh, again, you're going to get feedback if your speakers are turned up, so watch out for that. Again, single channel. Okay. Um, mine set the line in rear, so I'll go through a couple of the other settings. So right here, you'll see another settings tab uh, button. Um, I have mine set to octave spectrum and uh, six bands per octave. Uh, these you're going you're going to want to set depending on how hot or how weak the signal is so it shows up there um, I have middle ear waiting at a for my microphone response time 125 milliseconds okay go over here to your pen adapter your SDR console or whatever you're monitoring through uh, middle ear waiting a uh, bands per octave six 125 milliseconds fast. I found that this combination gives me the most accurate representation of what's going on. Okay, now go ahead and start them. Start this, and you'll see the audio uh, jumping up over here on the right-hand side. And I'll start this. This is SDR console. And we'll see if we can find a CAC signal. Oh, there are a couple signals here. So let's go over here. And... Now, coming from console, I have the console set at 3.6 kilohertz wide, and the audio, I'm grabbing audio from, I can tell you, uh, 3.6 kilohertz, uh, 30 to 30, 30 hertz to 3700 uh, to 3.7K. Uh, that's what, what the audio is that I'm grabbing, okay? Um, so I'll go ahead and bring console up. Be careful, be safe, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Over. Unfortunately, signals on 20 are absolutely. All right, John, crap. thank you. I'll uh, oh. put you down as a relay and heavy, uh, heavy QSB. we'll work out uh, the details. Uh, you want to put out a car right So, now? as you can it's hear, his audio is, is definitely very mid rangey, uh, so he's peaking. His primary uh, area that's strongest in his audio is probably around yeah, 400, 450 hertz up through like uh, 2.5, 2.8 kilohertz. Um, it's good DX audio, you know, but he's got an issue with his microphone or something. It's cutting in and out. Uh, I'm going to flip the array, see what's going on. I was actually pointed at Europe, so when he comes back, he'll probably be a little stronger. Maybe. This up. Bands are such crap, aren't they? Total crap during the day. Horrible. Oh yeah, we got we got uh, sunspots. Ooh! Don't hold your breath, folks. 
Don't drink the Kool-Aid just yet. Kool-Aid's a killer, asked uh, anybody who played with Jim Jones. Bunch of Kool-Aid drinking yak jack straps. Um, Alright, so I guess nobody's going to cooperate. Everybody's rag chewing and I can't hear anything, but but that gives you an idea. I'll go ahead and mute this stupidity. And um Yeah, so there you go. I will uh catch up with you guys later. Link will be posted. I showed you how to set it up. So it's a very simple install. I am running Windows 10 and I believe Jared W4ZXT tried to get this to work on Windows 7 and it did not. This may be only workable on Windows 10, I don't know. Um, so I'll just put that warning out there. This is 100% free. You don't have to register, you don't have to do jack squat. I like it. I'll see you guys later. I gotta go and take a shower, man. You know when you can smell yourself? It's pretty bad, yeah. I need an air purifier down here in the shack. This is a stinky, airtight man cave. We'll catch you later, 7-3.